Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'll be unboxing my very last BoxyCharm and telling you guys why I canceled my subscription. I've had BoxyCharm for about a year and a half now. I subscribed in January of 2017. I actually did a full review video on my first year of BoxyCharm. I'll throw that up in the cards if you guys want to see it. It is a couple months old now at this point. But the first year, I loved BoxyCharm looked forward to it every month. I thought it was awesome, all the products that we're getting, but over the past like few months in 2018, I haven't been ecstatic about BoxyCharm. So I'm gonna go into everything, why I canceled my subscription, and then we're gonna open my last BoxyCharm. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So like I said earlier, my first year of BoxyCharm, was perfect and I think it was because I had a smaller makeup collection and subscription boxes like this especially where you get full-size products are awesome for building up your collection if you already have a collection if you're already content with the amount of makeup that you have I wouldn't recommend going for BoxyCharm since they are full-size products if you really wanted to get a subscription service I would go with something that gives you maybe smaller samples I'm not a huge fan of Burke's Burks. I'm not a huge fan of Birchbox. I did have that for like a couple of months and then I canceled that one. I really liked the Sephora Playbox, but that one I had to cancel because I did get a job at Sephora and employees are not allowed to have Sephora Play subscriptions while you work at Sephora. So after canceling BoxyCharm, I no longer have any subscription boxes at all. With BoxyCharm specifically, it went from me getting products that I really wanted to experiment with and try out like I remember my first boxy charm I got a bronzer and a highlighter and they're both full sizes and I had never tried a bronzer at that point and I really wanted another highlighter so like that was perfect for me it helped me build up my collection helped me try new things that I never really would have picked out for myself but fast forward a year and a half I now have a sizable makeup collection and I don't find myself looking forward to these boxes it went from me looking forward to the products to being oh there's my boxy charm on my doorstep and I don't want to keep bringing products into my collection like this because I'm not looking forward to them. And then they're just going to get thrown into the back of my drawer until I declutter them. So um, that's the main reason why I canceled all of my subscription boxes. Like I said, the only one that I really liked and wish I could have kept was the Sephora one. But as long as I work at Sephora, I'm not allowed to have that subscription box. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and unbox my very last box teacher. Actually, I haven't seen any of like the spoilers because I unfollowed BoxyCharm on Instagram and on Twitter because I used to follow them and like see all the previews and stuff. I actually have no idea what's in this box. So we're just going to put the card over there and let's take a look. Okay, so the first product I got is from Pharmacy. This is the Bright On Massage Activated Vitamin C Mask. This actually sounds really good. It's a vitamin C clay mask that instantly brightens and helps detox skin by removing buildup and impurities to visibly improve the appearance of skin texture and tone. That actually sounds pretty interesting. I do like that they put in a lot of like full size skincare products like this, but then like the downside is also like if you're very sensitive to that kind of stuff, then having the full size is almost kind of like a waste because you have no idea like how your skin's going to react to it. And this one's $38 for this little this little tub made exclusively for boxy charm so that sounds kind of interesting next we have something from note i think the brand is and this is a luminous silk compact blusher so it's probably just like a little blush oh the packaging is cute oh Ooh. okay so it looks like let's turn this down so it's got note kind of like imprinted on the blush and it looks like a really nice little shade and then if you lift this up you've got a little brush which I, I'm not gonna use the brush but it's cute that they put it in there <laughs> it's actually a really nice shade it's called desert rose but it looks more orangey than rosy yeah I'm getting some orange feelings from that but it actually looks kind of cute I wonder how much that one was so the blush was $11.99 okay so that's kind of cute next we have an eyebrow cream what tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream what the hell is this <laughs> so like a oh god did i just break it right so is that not how you open it oh shit what is this so there's like a, a brush on this side and you what 
Oh, I'm an idiot. Got it. Okay. So, uh, I swear I'm an adult. So the, the size has a brush, and then you actually twist off this part, and inside of the cap is the actual product. Like, in there. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Are you supposed to just, like, dip it? I guess, yeah, so you just dip it in there. I'm not actually getting anything off of the... I think it dried out. Okay. Not quite sure what that is, but it's a thing. <laughs> Add some wow to your brows. This innovative eyebrow cream effortless. Oh, can I speak today? Effortless. Effortlessly defines and shapes your eyebrows with its creamy consistency and built-in brush. This velvet-like formula makes blending easy, then sets, giving you perfect brows that will last all day and night. Yeah, I think mine just dried out because I really couldn't get anything out of it. Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, I didn't even look at the price. How much was it? It's $26. Jesus. I'm not saying... Okay. Alright, next. What do we have here? Oh, okay, so this is a mascara. I'm not gonna open it because I already have a couple mascaras open. But this is from Wander Beauty Volume and Curl Mascara. Let's read about it. This award-winning black and intensely glossy mascara will bring your lashes to new heights. The unlashed mascara volumizes, lengthens, strengthens, and conditions your lashes while using a combination of gentle ingredients. That's a hell of a lot of claims for a mascara. And it's also $24. That's a bit much. But I kind of, I like the idea of a mascara in a tube like this so that you could, like, get all the product out of there. I'll definitely hold on to it and then when I use up a couple of mascaras I'll bring this one out and try it out. Okay so our last product is actually a palette so let's see. BoxyCharm is very very hit or miss when it comes to palettes. I've gotten some amazing palettes out of this thing and I've also gotten some of the like worst. I was trying not to say the crap word but I said it anyway. I've gotten some of like the worst palettes ever. Okay, this is from Crown. It's an okay brand. It's a little, it's a little messy, but thankfully I don't think anything broke. I mean, it looks kind of pretty. It's just very rosy, very mauvey. Let's see what the description says. It's called the Fuego eyeshadow collection because we don't have enough warm neutrals. Made up of rich, warm tone shades, this creamy, high pigmented palette gives you exactly what you need to create infinite flawless eye looks this you it's not gonna be infinite there's only eight there's only eight shades and the combination of each it's not infinite the four shimmer shades perfectly complement the six matte shades making this palette making this the palette for all of your hashtag glam goals ouch okay honestly i'm not gonna dip my fingers in i'm not even gonna do anything because looking at this i know i have all these shades in my collection and i want to pass it along to someone that i know is going to get more use out of it and is going to love it more than I will because this will just sit in the back of my drawer and not get any use whatsoever and that's a big part of why I'm no longer using BoxyCharm because even when I do get good products like I got the palette last month like I got this palette last month and this one is actually a really nice palette it's got some nice colors in here the quality is awesome but I barely touched it like I've used it a couple of times I've swatched it I love it but even when I get a product that I love at a BoxyCharm, I just kind of push it to the side. And I need to stop doing that. I really need to focus on my collection. I really need to do a nice big declutter. Get everything that I don't like, don't love out of my collection and focus on my collection. Because I'm at the point where I have a ridiculous amount of products. And I'm realizing I have a ridiculous amount of products. And I got into this collective mindset. But it's because I remember... I remember a time where I literally couldn't afford to buy, you know, the $3.99 Stay Matte Powder at CVS. And I remember watching YouTube and desperately wishing I could use the products and watching all these reviews for palettes that I couldn't afford. And now that I'm at a point where thankfully, like, I can pay all my bills and still get makeup and, you know, be fine. But I think I'm pushing it a little too far. I think I need to take stock of where I am what products that I have and focus more on 
not just me but also on my spending i think i'm probably going to be doing a low buy sometime soon but really i just want to just kind of be a little bit more introspective when it comes to my spending and when it comes to my makeup collection and this is the first step getting rid of the subscription boxes let me know down below what you think of subscription boxes if you think they're worth it if you have any or if you've already canceled some i would love to talk to you guys about this down below and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye